Okay, so let's start off by adding gravity to the default cube. So press G, then set to grab the cube on the set axis. And then press R to uh, rotate. And then let's add a plane, which will be the floor. Then press S to scale. And then go into the physics settings, rigid body, and then let's make the floor passive. And then select the uh, cube, rigid body, and then make the cube active. And as you can see, when we play the animation, the uh, cube falls down. We can also duplicate the cube by pressing Shift D. And as you can see, the gravity settings, the rigid body settings, will be duplicated as well. So uh, let's play the animation. And as you can see, the new object has a rigid body physics and gravity as well. We can also add gravity to more complex objects like the monkey. So let's press G to grab. And um, let's add a modifier, a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons. Then apply the modifier. And then press S to scale. Then go into the rigid body physics. And for more complex shapes, make sure to set the shape to mesh. And as you can see, it works. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe.